that this is not about two years or four years mm -hmm. or even ten yeah. years. This is about bringing in someone who has been doing this for 40 years mm -hmm. and learning from him and understanding that someday you're going to be the one teaching the young one mm -hmm. what you have learned over the course of 40 years mm -hmm. of doing this profession. Mm -hmm. you know, it, it's, it's not expected to be accomplished that quickly. No, and I think one of the difficulties is since we humans really only do have a 75 year window on, on eternity, that we some people say it may be up to 150, but well, it may, but in, but that's in comparison to attorney, that's still very, very short. That's, yeah, it's a very short period of time, and we term things in terms of that, not generational. Um, oh, one of the um, oh, comments I ran across many years ago that uh, the Native Americans, before the Europeans showed up, and especially the ones up in the Northeast, that they planned all of their political uh, endeavors for seven generations. Okay. Now, in modern America, we plan it for the next quarterly report. <laughs> Radical difference. <laughs> well, and how successful can we really be on the global uh, basis or on the eternity basis? Well, I suppose, do, okay, compare that to sailing an ocean liner across, okay, we'll be generous, we'll say the Atlantic, not the Pacific. <laughs> um, even doing that much. Mm -hmm. Imagine your navigational instruments cannot tell you anything more than the next 10 miles in front of you. <laughs> How are you going to make it across the ocean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or will you wind up on the coast of Africa? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, when you're trying to sail to Europe mm -hmm. from America? Or you, you have to have, I mean, Lord knows where we'll wind up if we can't see anything more than 10 miles in front of us mm -hmm. as we're crossing something like the Atlantic Ocean. Mm -hmm. Well, and as time has shrunk and continues to shrink, uh, I think that's what we're suffering or trying to deal with now. Being it's, too short-sighted. Yeah, yeah, looking at five five minutes ahead, looking at a year ahead at the most. You know, that's long-term well, planning. Which all of this falls into uh, the discovery of unpleasant things. That's right. That we want to avoid that, and we would shorten that, and we would short-circuit that uh, wonderful gift of the gods mm -hmm. of experiencing unpleasantnesses. You know, when they come to you and they say, I want the quick answer. And Give they, me the quick one. And that's why they come to hypnosis, because they're expecting a magic wand. You know, you're, bing, you're going to hypnotize them, and yeah. they're going to wake up with everything fixed. Oh, and they, they know better. And if will, only it were true. And, and we will <laughs> smile about it and laugh about it, but they still expect it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they know better, but they still, they're hoping for this magic. And yeah, when they find well, out it And even happen, a TV show I saw on primetime television the other day, uh, granted it was only dealing with an addiction to smoking. Mm-hmm. Which I, I apologize to everyone for saying only. Only, uh, yes. Having been addicted, I, okay. <laughs> um, but in that movie, the, the character uh, purports to have cured this woman of smoking with uh, basically 30 seconds of light hypnosis mm -hmm, mm -hmm. by simply fixing in her mind an, an objectionable image. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, maybe it worked, maybe it didn't. We'd have to come back and ask the woman six months later whether it worked or not, or, mm -hmm. or how well it worked. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know if that's a realistic expectation, you know, that after watching that show, someone runs to their hypnotherapist <laughs> and says, give me the 30-second cure for smoking. And they do, and they do that. Yes. And you say? I laugh usually. <laughs> <laughs> and they look all astonished, like, what? Did yeah. I say something funny? No, 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 they're usually, uh, they're, they're smarter than that. They'll ask for that, and I'll, I will just spontaneously laugh, and they say, okay, it doesn't work like that, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay, now would you like to actually get busy doing this? Mm -hmm. yeah. And most of them, yes, they are. They're ready and willing to do that. But there are some, yeah, that they well, And that in itself is a discovery of unpleasantness. It is for them, yeah. That this is going to take a while. It's not That's going right. to be a quick fix. Right, their fantasy, their dream isn't going to play out, and, they, and you can see it. And I think it's just wonderful. They will either mentally or even physically do this. And you can see that change, yeah, that change come over them, uh, accepting the unpleasantness of the magic isn't probably going to happen here, and then they'll embrace it. Do they, do, has anyone ever actually gone into a depression where they said, oh, well, forget it then, and walked out? Not quite that extreme. Usually after, oh, and not necessarily of smoking, sometimes other pleasant unpleasantnesses, mm -hmm. that they will start opening those doors to uh, traumatic events in their life. And after a couple of sessions, they I've had a couple tell me that, okay, I can't do this. And then we'll sit and chat about that for a while. Mm -hmm. And some come back to see me again. You know, they'll take a break, you know, three months, six months. I had this one person took a two-year break. 
Okay. And gave me a call, and I kind of recognized, kind of remembered them after two years. Okay. And as soon as they started talking, they said, oh, yeah, I know. They said, okay, I'm ready now. Well, all right. Then it's apparently their time. And it wasn't before. Right. And so they were dealing with some very unpleasantnesses within their lives during that two-year period. They were coming to terms with their own failures from their perception, mm -hmm. from their own inabilities from their perceptions. You know, many people beat themselves up for not living in peace and joy and love 24-7. Yeah, I must be doing something wrong. Yes, yes. What is the matter with me? Maybe yeah. not. Well, yeah, um, you're just living life. Or, or maybe you just have, maybe all of us mm -hmm. are complicated combinations of <laughs> memories and <laughs> impulses, mm -hmm. and it's just a whole lot to work through. It is. We are very complex beings, and uh, people just don't realize how complex we are. Even the professionals, you know, mm -hmm. the world of psychotherapy, my profession, uh, there are many therapists and many researchers, they really do not understand how incredibly complex we are. They're looking for something like, I don't know, a light switch to, you know, turn on and off or something. Well, which is always makes me nervous when somebody says they found one. Mm. Oh, oh you know, I absolutely. I have a light yeah. switch. That's right. <laughs> I'm like, oh dear. Yes, I have the theory and I've got this laboratory research to back it up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, 